Hello YouTube and welcome to another video. Um, if you haven't noticed already by the title, this isn't going to be a coding tutorial. This is going to be um, a video that will give you some tips on how to learn coding better. Now, um, as you can see here, I've got this program that I wrote. Um, took about 800 lines. Um, I worked on it with uh, one of my friends in my class. And the original design was to um, check for a process that runs on our computers at school. Um, and basically what it does is when the teacher turns off our monitors because she wants our attention, it'll set off an alarm and that alarm won't stop until she gives us our monitors back. Um, but after I made that in about an hour, um, I started expanding and um, I added a bunch of different things to it. And I learned stuff that I didn't already know. And uh, this is a good way to learn coding. Just code. Just come up with an idea based on your skill level. And once you have that idea, make it. And um, if you get stuck somewhere, you don't have to go to YouTube and watch videos to... Um, to teach you stuff. Now if it's something big or something major that you're going to be using a lot it's a good thing to go to YouTube and watch those videos um, which I'll try to put more up soon but um, just go to Google and pretty much whatever you search for whatever problem you have you'll probably be able to find a forum that will have the answer to that problem so um, that really helps a lot. And you can see here I'll run the program for you. Uh, it starts up a, it checks for updates using uh, AN Updater, which is um, an updater that one of my friends made that connects to his FTP server to see if there's an update. Um, I just recorded this video a second before and it didn't turn out right. And it, you could actually see it update the program, but uh, now I can't do that. I don't have an older copy of it. But you can see here, um, you can just add stuff to this and um, it'll start and it'll check for it every three seconds. <coughs> and then it'll tell you if it's running and the alarm will go off you couldn't hear it but I could hear it in my um, uh, in my headphones and uh, I can change the alarm and uh, here's a list of suspicious processes that I found on a website I just went ahead and added that and you can add stuff to the list too so if I add this to the list it'll go ahead and add that down at the bottom and um, you can also, it also works as kind of like a mini antivirus. I, I didn't plan for it to be that when I made it, but uh, it will it works like that. It's not very efficient, but it works. Um, so if I do check for all, it'll start checking for it. And it'll tell me that it has found two suspicious processes. And it adds them to the box. And each time it checks, it won't add duplicates to the box. And if I just clear the list, and I can test the alarm too and it didn't work so let's select this caution a virus has been detected Here, I'll try to turn that up so you guys can hear it caution a virus has been detected caution so that's basically a virus has been detected what the teacher would hear when she turns off our monitors um so um this took like two or three days and uh, a little over 800 lines of code i may have already said that but um I hope this video helps you guys. Um, a lot of people don't realize that, that you just need to go out there and code and come up with an idea and you'll learn a lot more than what you would from a video because you'll find little things in there that um, my videos don't cover because I'll forget about them too until I actually try to make a program um, that works and is useful. So um, I'm not going to put the download, I'm not going to put this available for download in the uh, description. But uh, if you guys want it, you can message me and I'll send you a download link. The reason I'm not doing this is because a lot of people on, on YouTube will just make fake programs in Visual Basic and they'll bind a, um, a virus to that program. And then once you download that, um, you get a virus, uh, such as fake keyloggers, um, programs that are said to hack Facebook or add money to PayPal. So just ever stay away from those. All those are fake. Uh, no matter how much proof they have, it's all fake. So um, if you guys want this, uh, you can message me and I'll, and I'll give you a download link. But other than that, I'm not going to put it in the description. So um, I'll try to have another C++ video up soon. Uh, I don't know when I will be able to. 
But um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.